Alright, let's see if this shit's gonna act right this time. Because I honestly don't know if it is. But we'll see, though. You just start crapping out on me in like the first couple minutes, any goddamn way. We'll see how it runs. We'll see how it acts. We shall see how it acts. So far, so good, though. Alright, first off, before we even get started, uh, okay, it's not showing me any fucking thing, so okay, then maybe if I, maybe if I go out here, maybe it'll show me something. Fuck you. Alright, right, there it is. What do you want? Who said that? Nah, fuck you, homeboy. I'm not fucking with you. Let me just go up over here. And see, how much money do I have? Okay, I got 267, so that's a good thing. Do I have my Henry repeater, Springfield rifle? I don't have my new fucking repeater. God damn it, it didn't save it. Fuck it, we're going to making a making a trip to the gun store here. Get out of the way. Uh, what do you? No, it's not that one. It's not that store. It's this store right here. Welcome to the store. What up? Dear sir, hello. Well. Let me take a look. That's fine. Yeah, I know it's fine. They just uh, just take it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Yes, yeah, wonderful, isn't it? I know. A whole bunch of shit out here. You could probably put this shit to good use. Put it up on your wall or some shit. I don't know. Go ahead and tell lies to people. Tell them that you're the one who hunted these motherfuckers. But you know you didn't. Ooh, man, look at all that right there. That's good shit, ain't it? All right, bye. What did I buy? I bought the Evans repeater, didn't I? Yeah, I bought the Evans repeater. All right, cool. I think we're good to go now. Go ahead and make sure that bitch is equipped like... Yes, it is. All right, now we get to go... I don't know why I just called my horse. It's not like, it's not like my objective is right around the corner here. Go ahead and take care of that. Shut up, you fucking dog. I'm not bullshitting. Can I go to the back door? No, I can't. God damn it. This guy doesn't like back doors. Okay, so apparently none of this shit, like, none of these motherfuckers, man, what the fuck? I can't do, man, fuck it, whatever. I just, whoa, horsey, god damn. I was almost scared the shit out of me just now. Yeah, fuck you. For purely scientific purposes. Clarence 111, what's up, man? It's good to see you, Olby. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you want to such What's so going on with you today, Clarence? Uh, Nothing, you chilling? Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all. What civilization is all about, the redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to sate both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! <laughs> this guy... I don't know what to say about this guy. Where the devil is the stars? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? That's cool. I can just call mine. Mine is right there. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. That's what I'm saying. He calm his ass down. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. God damn it, I can't get get Okay, horse. Come on, show it. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I'm talking about. This is 
it! Right. Years of research! What were you talking about? Okay, so this guy is fucking there. crazy. Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to that? Do doesn't that? sound right. I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's uh... a good idea. Yeah, I don't think you should be doing that, so let's not do that, okay? Come on! I don't think they'll give you a sample from the sole of the feet. I'm actually I don't know a little nervous, you I have shit. to say. A touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along. It's a bear! For the love of God, no. kill it! Don't worry about it, it's a fucking bear. <laughs> See? There you go. Oh, that was terrifying! Yeah, I say we got some beer! Up. What Wait doing? a minute! Oh. Wait a minute! Hold on! Wait for me! This is a messy one. Y'all better fucking wait for me. This mission better- I hope this mission doesn't fail because I'm skinning this fucking bear. I really hope it doesn't. Let's go! Alright, cool. Don't take back there like a wet blanket! What? What you say, motherfucker? Oh man! Oh my god! Let me make sure my shit is good here. All right, cool. Easy, slow it up. Here we are. Okay. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. I'm well in my fucking comfort zone. I got a new repeater. I'm good to go. That motherfucking Evans repeater, though. What's up, y'all? What y'all looking at? God damn it, I can't cut through there. Alright, that's fine. There's some fine horses up over here. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I, but, but I, but violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster, the likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. We oh God! In peace. What was he says, Boston? <laughs> you call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This no. is not. I just bought mine. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snitch. Oh, shit. Oh, well, all right then. Touch. Professor, get down now. Get your ass down. Look there. Oh, God. Stars. Austin, Wait a minute. I don't want this. Yeah, that mouse pistol. Just keep your head down. Oh, shit. That mouse pistol, though. You fellas should hit the ground with your hat. Don't leave me alone in here, will you? Uh, I might. Shut the fuck up. And about enough of field work for today. Time to return home, sir. Right. Let's go now while we got the chance. Yes, let's get out of this hellhole and back to civilization. Oh, yeah, this is mine. Whoa, boy, that, that mouse pistol is the shit, quickly. though. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Stop moaning and oh, rise. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait for me. Yeah, that was a rush. The motherfuckers hit hard. Oh god. No! 
horse! What the fuck are you doing? Get back up there! Wait, McDougal. Hold your ass on! Man, this horse is hauling ass. Shit! Experience of my life. I wish I could say the same. Blackwater. Ah, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. You'll be okay. Hey, you're the guy who kills people. <laughs> that's, a, that's a way to fucking greet me. Thanks. Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I should be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. All right, that went well. What's up, police guy? <sighs> all right. Wish I could have looted all those motherfuckers for real, but okay then. You can't always get what you want. God damn it! Six p.m. and five. Okay. So what time is it now? Fuck. He wants to work at night for some fucking reason. I'm not sure exactly why, but it's okay. Uh, is it this? No, it's not this one. It is, uh, this one. There we go. Guess I'll go to sleep for a little bit. No, no, no. Get in there. There we go. Alright, should be nice, nice and dark outside. Go ahead and holler at this motherfucker again. Go out the way, y'all. All y'all drunk so shit. Sorry. I'm not. Alright, cool. God damn, I did not want to pull that. Professor. Oh, it's your dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. Do you know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Mm -hmm. Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You shouldn't do that. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just he on that shit. Of course he's not all right. <laughs> oh shit! Is that you, John? You may be. Hello, Dutch. I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and and, and your friend there, the professor. We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Yeah, let's Let the do professor that. go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a bit like you. 
Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. oh. Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. What are you doing? We can get to the roof this way. Oh Do shit, here we go. He's going to kill me. One more move and he's a dead man. That ain't none. My god, you took your sweet time. What are you talking about? They've got us pinned down. Oh, we kill everybody. That's what we do. What do you think you playing at? Hmm. Use the golden black rifle here. There you go. What's the other fucker? You have to get us out of here. Stop fighting for Christ's sake. There we go. Uh, where they at? They are oh right here. How about that? Oh damn it! I shot his hat off. There we go. Sure is. All right, where they at? Yes, it is. Holy shit. A whole bunch of these sons of bitches. Oh, God. That's not good. That is definitely not good. I'll never make it back to New Haven. Yes, she will. Shut up. God damn it, you low as slow as shit. Who is doing all that fucking yelling over? Come on, help me gain shit. Take a scoot ass. Fuck. Come on, pop back out, homo. Oh shit, this asshole here has a very clean shot on me. I'm going to take care of that. Come on, pop out. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's not very good cover, homeboy. Probably shouldn't do that. I think that's most of them. The coast looks clear. Come on, then. It's clear to me. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. Okay, let me just uh, get my Evans repeat out here because it might look might be kind of close here. What the fuck is going on down here? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I'll loot this motherfucker and see what he got on him. Never in all my days. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Let's go then. Right to the you station. I'm not staying in this place a minute longer. Okay, this really well, let's go. couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some you good sure? material for your next book. You know, I dread documenting the last days of the old west, the romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the old west ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Just let me go! Oh, God. Oh, my God! There's more of them! I'm wide open here! Oh, shit. Where's the other one? Oh, that's there, yeah. Yes. <laughs> go, 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 goddammit! Marshall, don't put your shit up! I was wrong all these years. Or was I right? 
I don't even know anymore. But what? It's because you're on that shit. Savages. No more than you and me. Most of these men were raised on reservations, educated in boarding schools, and what good is it done? Hurry! There's more of them. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Shit. Don't be fucking with you too much longer. Civilization, please. All right. That was fun. Ah, my research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Aww. So long, Professor. So long, sir. See you later, Professor. Get off that shit. Well, all right then. Got a good old hundo for that. So, where, god damn it, where am I going now? I am going, oh, let me go back here. Actually, is there a thingamabobber here? Yes, it is. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop it, horse, goddamn! Come on. Let me get that, let me get that down back there. Alright. Got money? Let's make it work. You got damn right I got me some money. Fishy JR22, what's up, man? What's going on with you, man? You chilling? Hey, these are all horses. You can't just. All right. Take me to Blackwater. Get some shut eye. I'll wake you when we get there. I'm going to take a nap. Get that shit out of the way! Oh fuck, man! God damn it! 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Let me see here. It is nowhere near that time. All right. Is it? Uh... Yeah. There we go. I don't want to play blackjack, goddammit. Alright. Should be well past seven right now, and it is. Holy shit. Well, I don't even know why I'm even calling my horse. It's not like this shit is right up the street here. Don't worry, horse, I got it, I'm good. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. No, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Savage fallen sword tribe. Well, oh boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. 
You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Jesus Christ, this guy. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He <laughs> says sense. who? Said like no one, one ever. one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with him. He's a goddamn killer. I did that. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. Sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. He'll let you know that he's just talking out of his ass. It's all good. Just suspected of him. You fat Elmer Fudd looking motherfucker. Trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Come quick, take a look at this thing. Ah, how about I just skip until we get there? Here are the cow. Look, they brought the machine gun. There's a lot of people. What's out the here. word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. No, I reckon. Everybody stay alert! I'm alert, all right. I'm ready. Targets on the horizon. Fire and blue. Here we go. Down. Keep them back. I can hardly hit those son of a bitches! I've been waiting for this day! Man, these targets are small as shit! Better 
them wolves. We got them horses out the way. Them motherfuckers can get it too. Trust me. I'm gonna be the first horse I've killed. We'll kill every last one of you. Look, they're running. Move out. Don't let them get away. No shit. We have to follow them into the woods. Can't you hold this thing steady for them? I'm trying my best, sir. Get those no. men behind the rock. Take them out. Somebody can't fucking drive. Keep it steady. Now, how did that motherfucker not die? God damn. Feel? Yeah. Not sure exactly what exploded just now, but okay. Keep going! Come and get me! I thought there was somebody up over there. Ha ha, you didn't do it. You didn't do it far enough, fucker. behind that fucking rock, bitch. Oh, God. No! And the truth will set you free. I think this is a good time to say that these guys are fucked. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to his student. That man is insane. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. And what if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the odds. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, men. Let's move out. Let's roll then. Shit, I'm waiting on you motherfuckers. I just beat y'all so there. You're the one who's gonna shit. kill him? Dutch? Yep, that's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. Easy. I hope this mission doesn't fail because I left these motherfuckers. They're way fucking behind, of course.
And I think my internet's about to be fucked. It's gonna kick me off Twitch. Yep. That is so long fucking way. Shit, that would have been bad. Holy shit, that would have been so fucking bad. Slow down. Let's go. Shit! Forward! Move in! Follow Come on, me. boys! Everybody move in! Who's a lot of motherfuckers out in Dutch's gang? Shit! Drop your weapon! They ain't gotta drop them. Shit. Keep I dropped the motherfuckers for them. For the love of God! What kind of jump criminals are you? Pump action shotgun. That was a shotgun. I'm gonna go with it. Oh god. Go, John. Get out of there. God damn. I was stuck on that body. What the fuck? Oh shit. That wasn't good. <laughs> it's time to kill these motherless bastards. This new Peter though. God damn. I can't kill this motherfucker for shit, but okay. Where you going, fucker? Oh my god. Get out of the way. My cover. God damn it. Come on, come on, come on, regen, regen, regen. Hurry up, health, god damn it. Keep pushing. You idiot. That's it. Oh god. Here they go again. Get out of the way! Shit! You ain't doing a goddamn thing, just get in the fucking way! We need cover! You ain't gonna win this! Not at all. Not the way he's fucking shooting. Don't you move a muscle now? Let's go, man! Move into the village! Shit, I'm in front of you motherfuckers. Y'all need to bring your ass.
What are you at? Aha! Oop, 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 oop! Not so tough now, are you? Marston, use that Gatling gun! We'll take him out from the Hey, Gatling gun, okay. No problem. Dutch has a lot of fucking people. If you want to go home to your mama, you best go now. <laughs> you want to go home to your mama, you best go now. <laughs> Oh god. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. Can I get another gallon gun? This is it, man. Let's get that gate down. Keep them covered now, Marston. Up top! Cover up! From the lava gun! I am shooting these motherfuckers. Shit. What the fuck is you doing? Just a question. Oh, this asshole. Okay. It's over. You hear me? Okay, he ain't done yet? Shit. This ends right now. Take cover, man! Fire in the hole! You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. Come in, Dutch. Looks like it's me and you, John. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Should have stayed at home. Oh God. You better follow me. Your fear makes you stink like a filthy pig. <laughs> I don't want this shit. Oh. God damn it. Last chance to surrender. Hmm. Working What's my okay. You're on fire back there, Dutch, if you haven't noticed. Son of a bitch! God damn it! You'll never take me alive, John! You so sure about that? God damn, I gotta chase this motherfucker now. Shit. I don't wanna chase people! It's over, oh, shit. John. I ain't leaving here without you. Come here, Dutch. Why do you keep giving me this dumbass fucking shit? Come on, John Herb, climb these ladder shit. You can't erase the past, John. It won't make it go away. That's where you're wrong.
Oh shit! Seems that you have nowhere to go, Dutch. Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed. Yeah. What the fuck? Damn, that looked like it fucking hurt. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? For what? Now you fucking shoot him. You should have been did that shit. Trust me. It looks better in the report that way. Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joking, dear boy. They were sent back to that Scrabble ranch of yours in Beecher's home. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Thank you, Mr. Marston, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country proud. Yeah, exactly. See you around, John. Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Can I loot this fucker first? <sighs> Guess not. All right, then. Head home to see your family, okay? They got to do that. Beaches Hope, here I come! This is probably way the fuck off some goddamn where. Oh, no, it's not. It's not that. It's not that bad. Alright, cool. Come on, horse, let's go home! I shortcut through this motherfucking shit? I'm about to find out. It's a bear! Cut. Great planes. No horse, don't shit out on me now. We're home! The outlaws return.
Abigail! Jack! Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling. Well, goddamn. No! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike and he didn't try it again. Or no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. And like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. It's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, Father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. Don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. <laughs> That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why so you should have seen my wife. Warm and tender embrace? Consider the fact I ain't put a bullet in you, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until you figured out which one to use. <laughs> Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We're leaving in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. We've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you've learned to cook. Yes, didn't I say? Rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. Well, damn. What do I not have on my duster coat? Jack, my boy. Where you at? Get moving. Let's go. Easy. Come on, boy. I hope you know how to ride. Be going, hey, goddamn it. Jack. I'm feeling fine, sir. We got a decent ride ahead of us. I've never been to Hennigan Stead. How do you know these ranchers? I met him while I was away. The McFarland's are good people. 
We need folks we can trust right now. Get them how? I was sick and they looked after Take me. How? You sure got a lot of questions. Well, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God, boy, no! Where do you know <laughs> these things? <laughs> Uncle told me about it. Well, he'd know, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. Acted foolishly, got in trouble. Guess I was a little out of practice. Come on! Hey, Paul! What? Where were you all that time? Where'd you go? What'd your mother tell you? She said it was some kind of important government business. That's about right. Some people thought I owed them some favor. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Those men harm you? I oh, know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. I think I'd like to be a government man one day. Or, or a politician. Oh, hell no. Don't do that. an honest profession. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. <laughs> but all that... That life... It's over now. Goddamn, Jack! See, you running into me! Paul, Shit! Was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. There's the ranch. Come on. Let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. John Marston! Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. Some of our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out in the crowd now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Where's she at? Aha, she's over here. Jack, you're gonna have an important Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Go! Move! Let's go! Head for the river, son! Come on! Let's go! Where, where, where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Show your ass back to that goddamn cow. Until you get them off the ranch. Slow it up now. Good luck, John! So, what happened? Last I heard you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson? Let's just say Bill and I settled our differences. Easy. You no, know, we settled our differences, all right. Shit. We settled them motherfuckers. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Why did you run off like that? Yeah. Holy shit, I'm losing all these motherfuckers. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Well, I'm glad you're back together again. Please stay with us, Carl, or we'll lose them. These motherfuckers are going all over the place. How's the ranch? We're surviving, but it hasn't gotten any easier. If you're still struggling, there's not much hope for me. Control. 
I best get back to Paul. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarlane. And thanks for Call everything. Me funny, you don't. Jack, we need to move him across the river. Oh god. Oh man. I really hope I don't have to fucking. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill towards home. Will do, Paul. Easy. Stay together, you dumb animals. Come on. One is way the fuck back there. You better bring his ass up here. Yeah, get your ass up there. There you go. Come on, easy up now. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? What are y'all doing? Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Wait, slow down. They look like rustlers. Stay back, son. I'll hold them off. I think that's all up. Jack, wait there, I'm coming. You all right? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine, I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. All right, let's round up the stragglers and get moving. I see stragglers, where are the stragglers? There's one over here. There's only one straggler, okay? I was gonna be like over oh, half the motherfuckers gone. <laughs> hey! Move! Move! Jack! Head left up the road towards home! I know where I'm going, Paul! Son. Thanks, Paul. That's got to be more exciting than those books of yours. Uh, sure. If nearly getting killed is your idea of exciting. 
Get up down to the rest nice of work, son. We made. You did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Yeah, that's a lot of motherfuckers. Did a good job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. I guess I'll go fuck with her then. The pestilence. Hmm. What you cooking? Same thing I've been cooking the past 15 years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest though, it tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack. I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government, and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphan working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. Hey. All right, all right. Oh, my God. A lot of these motherfuckers out here. Shit! And it's a lot of the motherfuckers. Damn it. 